And, and then you got, you know, these psychotic fairies, you know, collecting teeth. I mean, what does he do with them? You know, and he only gives you a quarter for them, too. I mean, you, you, you try going and buying false teeth, you know, with a quarter. See how many you're going to get. What in the hell are you talking about now? Hey, you're back. And we were just talking about uh, magic underwear gnomes. And uh, Scott here has this crazy theory that uh, the tooth fairy is collecting these teeth so she can make some perverted homoerotic anal beads. You know what? Forget it, I asked. You're just too scared to know the truth. Yeah, shut the hell up. H how was your trip? Uh, Japan was beautiful. I uh, saw a lot of little temples. I ate some incredible food. Some old lady put a curse on me. And the whole time I was there, I kept on thinking, man, I wish Tara was here to see this. First of all, dude, you and Tara are broken up. You know, you gotta forget about that. Secondly, what do you, the hell are you talking about with the curse? Uh, some 200-year-old Japanese woman put a curse on me. Why would she do that? Uh, uh, Come on, nobody gets a curse put on them for no reason. Fine. I, uh... I, uh, banged your granddaughter. Oh, hell yeah! Was she hot? Oh, she was fine. You just don't know. Do you want to know how fine she was? No. How fine was she? She was so fine, I would have crawled ten miles over broken glass just to sniff the dick of the last guy who fucked her. That's pretty fine. Goddamn right it is. So, uh, what happened? She, I mean, she got you guys doing it? Uh, no, we had just finished. We were, you know, putting our clothes back on, and that's when she cursed me and stuff. I don't know. Oh, that sucks. Come on, Scott, you don't believe this horse shit that John's giving you, do you? Well, I, I guess I wouldn't believe it myself. So, I'm going to have to show you guys. Come on, follow me. Well, here I go. Cheers. I'll tell you what, if I had breasts like those, I wouldn't leave the house at all. I would just play with those bad boys all night long. Yeah, well, my wrists are getting sore and my breasts were hurting, so. <laughs> Aw, fuck you guys. This isn't funny. Every time I get hit with cold water, I turn into a girl. How do you change back? Hot water. I don't even tell you how I figured that out. Can I touch them? What? Can I touch them? No. Just lift your shirt so I can see them. No, man. These are my boobs. I'm not going to lift my shirt for you. <laughs> oh, this from the guy who would run around the pool hall with his dick hanging out of his zipper? Whatever. That was different. Besides, no one noticed that. <sighs> Nobody cared. Yeah, it wasn't that big a deal. <laughs> yeah. Well, fuck you guys. Oh, hey, wait. Yeah. I thought of something, you know, now that you're kind of a girl, are you going to have a period? Can you get pregnant? <laughs> I hadn't thought of that. Debbie! 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 What? I got something to show you. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something here? Yeah, this is very... Very important, please. Fine. Not heavy. You're a nurse, so you're used to seeing weird and strange things. So promise me, you're not going to freak out or anything. Okay, okay, I, I promise. I won't freak out. Debbie. Debbie, Debbie.
there we go. Come on, you promise. You're right. You're right. I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting a rash or a hemorrhoid or something, but this? What is going on? Well, short version, while I was in Japan, I banged some broad, and her 400-year-old grandmother caught us. She put a curse on me, and now every time I get hit with cold water, I turn into a girl. You banged a broad? Banged some broad? What? You banged a broad? How piggish can you be? Do you even know her name? Yes, I do. It's Ling. Or Lang. Or Ling Lang. It's something Japanese sounding. You don't have any respect for women. They're not just the receptacles of your seed. They need robots. Debbie! And Debbie! Let's focus on the problem at hand here. Look at me. I'm a girl. I can see that. What am I going to do? I don't know. I've never seen anything like this before. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, well, I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. Hello? John? Oh, oh hey. Hey. Um, is John around? No, John's not here. Uh, he'll be back later, but, um, you're Tara, right? Yeah, um, I'm just here to drop off his key. Oh. Um, and you are? Um, I'm Karen. Karen, nice to meet you. Um, we're just friends, though, so. so. Why are you wearing his clothes? Oh, um, my, my laundry machines are broken, so he just let me borrow his. That's all. What are you, uh, what are you doing? Huh? You're, uh... Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I never wore makeup before, so I was just trying it out. Do you like it? You look like a cross between a clown and a hooker. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Do you want some help? I guess I need some Yeah, I would love it. <laughs> All right, come on. Thanks. There we go. Hey, um, I know we just met, but I was wondering if I could ask a favor of you. Well, yeah, you taught me how to do the makeup, so I owe you one. Um, there's this guy I want to go out with tomorrow, and his friend needs a date. He's really cute, but all my girlfriends have boyfriends. What makes you think I don't have a boyfriend? It's Friday, you're at John's house, doing your laundry, learning how to put makeup on. <laughs> Need okay, I go okay, on? okay, okay. You win. Sure. Yeah. Great. Um, here's my address. Stop by any time tomorrow and uh, we'll do your makeup. Okay. Cool. Okay. Oh, yeah.